The turn of the 20th century marked a significant era of change and progress in New York City, one of the world's most influential and iconic metropolises. From the towering skyscrapers that dominated the skyline to the bustling streets crowded with people from all walks of life, New York City was a hub of innovation, culture, and excitement. In the early 1900s, New York City was growing rapidly with a population of over 3 million people. The city was already home to some of the world's most iconic landmarks, including the Statue of Liberty, Central Park, and the Brooklyn Bridge, which had been completed in 1883. However, the city was also facing significant challenges, including overcrowding, poverty, and disease. For many immigrants who arrived in New York City during this period, life was a struggle. These newcomers often lived in cramped and unsanitary conditions, with many families sharing small apartments or tenements. Disease was a significant concern, with illnesses like tuberculosis, cholera, and typhoid fever spreading rapidly through the overcrowded neighborhoods. Despite these challenges, immigrants played a critical role in shaping the culture and economy of New York City. Many found work in the city's thriving industries, including manufacturing, shipping, and finance. Others turned to entrepreneurship, opening small businesses such as shops and restaurants that served the diverse communities of the city. New York City was also a hub of artistic and cultural activity, with the turn of the century marking the start of the city's emergence as a cultural capital of the world. The city was home to some of the most influential artists and writers of the time, and music and theater were thriving on Broadway. As the 20th century progressed, New York City underwent a significant transformation, with the city's skyline changing dramatically with the construction of towering skyscrapers. In 1902, the Flatiron Building was completed, becoming one of the city's most iconic landmarks. The Woolworth Building, completed in 1913, became the tallest building in the world at the time, standing at 792 feet tall. The rise of these new skyscrapers reflected the growing wealth and power of New York City's business elite. The city's finance industry was booming, with Wall Street becoming the center of the world's financial markets. In 1901, the city's first subway line opened, revolutionizing transportation in the city and making it easier for people to move around. The subway system quickly became an essential part of life in New York City with hundreds of thousands of people using the system every day.
Of course, the city's rapid growth and development brought with it some negative consequences as well. The influx of people and industries into the city led to pollution and environmental problems with air and water quality suffering. The city also struggled with issues like crime and disease, with outbreaks of smallpox and polio posing a significant threat to public health. Despite these challenges, life in New York City at the turn of the 20th century was full of excitement, energy, and possibility. The city was a hub of innovation, creativity, and cultural diversity, with people from all walks of life coming together to shape the city's future, helping it to become one of the most influential and vibrant cities in the world. Thanks for joining me in the History Lounge. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.